Hey everybody, this is Rick starting over. Just wanted to do a uh, relaxed kind of video about my experience a little last month and a half maybe in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. Sort of a um, couple days out from being there. Um, and I've had a little time to reflect on my experience there. Um, so I guess in the van dwelling community, in the car living community, um, there are two cities in Arizona that um, are pretty important as far as spending time um, in one place. Okay, and one of them is Quartzite, right? And um, that's generally known as the uh, mecca for uh, van life and RVing and car living. And uh, Quartzite is a is a uh, pretty cool place, but that's for another video. So. I heard and I watched on YouTube that uh, many people were going to uh, Flagstaff um, in the summer because the weather was better. Now, my experience with the weather in Flagstaff is that it's hot during the day, and I'm talking about uh, September and the early part of October now. So you would think it would start to moderate, right? But Flagstaff has um, pretty hot days, I would say. If you're in your vehicle, you're going to be doing 90 degrees most days. Sun shining, sun glaring. Um, you're going to have to find shade in your vehicle, that kind of situation. Um, at night, it's fairly comfortable. Right? At night, it's fairly comfortable. It can get even cool. Um, so it does fit the bill, I think, in the summer. If you can take... <clears throat> Excuse me. If you can take 90 degrees during the day, um, you're good to go because the nights are comfortable. And that's uh, that's what you want in the summer. You want to be able to sleep in cool weather. Okay, so that's a sort of a summary of uh, what the weather is in, in uh, Flagstaff. So it is a solution to, you certainly can't stay in quartzite in 110 degrees in the summer. It's just not doable. <clears throat> so most people move to a cooler place, um, which is Flagstaff. Now, let me deal with the elevation. Okay, Flagstaff is cool at night because it's at 7,300 feet elevation. Now, that's that's um, uh, like 50% higher than Denver. Okay, so you're going to have issues with the elevation. Um, and my my health, my, my the way I felt day to day, um, definitely was not good because of the elevation. You know, headaches, sore throat, low energy level, that sort of thing. Okay, so so you pay a price for those cool nights, those cool sleeping nights. Um, and some people respond well to the elevation. And some people like me always have that low grade, kind of low energy, feeling like you have a little cold most of the time. And that's not, that's not cool. That wasn't cool for me. So... Uh, the elevation in the end was negative for me. All right, let's 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 move on to, to the people because this is the main issue I have with Flagstaff. And I'm just going to be honest about this. Um, I find the people to be um, depressing. There's a ton of homeless. There's a ton of vagrants. There's a ton of wanderers. Um there's a ton of weird people walking around, driving around. Um, I, I find it a very strange population there. Um, almost to the point where it's depressing. So that was the, this, this is the major complaint I have with Flagstaff. Got a bunch of people walking around depressed. And it's not good. It's not good. Um, there's also a lot of, a lot of strange people walking around, a lot of strange people who want what you've got. And, uh, yeah, so I didn't find the city welcoming. I didn't find the population welcoming, um, too many homeless, uh, too many people, um, asking you for money and staring you down, I try to intimidate you, who knows what they want, right? So... Without going into all the individual details, 
Um, for that reason, for that reason, uh, too many strange people um, looking for money. Um, people approach you for no reason there. Um, they, uh, they ask you for money on a routine basis. There's homeless people standing on the corner, walking around. Everywhere you go in that town, it's overrun with depressed people and homeless people. And I, I've had enough of that. So decided to pick up and leave, and that's what I did. So I don't think I'll be going back to Flagstaff, I can tell you. Um, all right, so let me move on to uh, a couple of positives in Flagstaff. I, I have to be fair about stuff. Um, they have everything you need there, you know, from the dollar stores to uh, food, uh, you know, Walmart. And uh, that's another thing. Walmart is just overwhelmed with the RVs and uh, homeless people and people asking for money on the corners. And, man, it's just uh, out of control. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, the positives are you have everything you need as far as supplies. You can get whatever you need. But let me just summarize here because I don't want to get too down on Flagstaff. Um, you want to try Flagstaff? You want to go for the cool night so you can sleep? That's a good reason. But watch out. Watch out for your personal safety. Watch out for people asking you for money constantly. Watch out for people staring you down. Um looking for a confrontation so they can take what's yours. Um, Got to be on the lookout. So I would say overall, I would avoid Flagstaff, even though it's tempting because it's in the mountains and it's cool at night. Um, overall, I would give Flagstaff a D minus. A D minus. And the only reason I wouldn't give it an F is because of the cool nights, the cool sleeping nights. This is Rick starting over. Just trying to tell it like it is here. Till next time.